Hey Buns, today we are going to be talking about the Novice Network in Final Fantasy XIV. Now, in theory, the Novice Network is intended to be a place where mentors, experienced players, who have signed up to be a mentor and therefore have agreed to actively provide gameplay advice for new adventurers, to be an exemplar for player etiquette, and to invite adventurers little baby sprouts into the novice network to give them help and to, I assume, not steal their credit card numbers. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> As a new player, you will get an invite from a mentor to this novice network where you will hopefully have some um, intellectual enlightening discussions. So, I mean, the question is, is the novice network actually helpful? Is it a ancient Athenian agora where <laughs> fellow students can gather, or is it more like Baron's chat? Last night I was asking people about this in my stream and someone said that they had seen scammers in the novice network trying to trick people into giving out their credit card info. And uh, they had seen someone say, did you know Final Fantasy blocks you from posting your card info? Watch, and then just a bunch of X's, try it yourself. Look, not all problems with the novice network aside, if you type in your credit card number into a video game to send to another player and press enter, like m maybe you shouldn't be on the internet at all. Like maybe you need to take a step back. Have, maybe have mommy watch you when you're on the computer. When I was a new player, the Novice Network had not yet been invented. And so that is why I reached out on Twitter to ask what your experiences in the Novice Network have been like. It seems your server will have a big impact on what your local Novice Network will be like. One person said that it was only German language in his and they ignored English speaking players. One mentor on Mateus said that it is helpful and horrible at the same time that they'll answer Sprout's questions in the middle of flaming each other over the most inane arguments. The first thing I saw when I first logged in one day, um, <laughs> okay, I, I cannot say that on YouTube. I will have to censor this. Uh, I will rephrase this for y'all, all right, for YouTube. Okay, so um, feeling the thick pickle uh, filling her with pickled juice made her very happy, too. She thrashed about on the floor and squirted her Nerf Super Soaker 200. Her mind was being shattered from pleasure, even as she heard another round, the song that's called Another Round. She surely would not be able to handle such a thing, already being covered in clothes. Uh, she was fully clothed and getting ready to go to church, actually. Her tongue was hanging from her lips um, because it was raining and she was, <laughs> she was a little thirsty. She was certainly that. There are people who take the time to go above and beyond to help. And there are some who ignore you or say, do it yourself. Do it yourself. One person said that it is pretty much like Baron's chat from WoW back in the day. Well, I mean, I learned a lot of important things in Baron's chat, like the fact that Chuck Norris doesn't sleep. He waits. <laughs> Time waits for no man, unless that man is Chuck Norris. One person said that in their novice network, there was a week straight where they only talked about Subarus. <laughs> I only experienced one instance of a mentor abusing their kick ban powers, but they were quickly shut down by the other mentors. Yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of like, are the dickheads outnumbered by the good, heads but <laughs> novice network in tonberry server is noticeably the chattiest and most welcoming in the whole elemental data center there are more and more sprouts from other servers visiting tonberry just to join the network hey that's a good tip those of y'all on na wondering uh is tonberry na no it's jp okay i was like that doesn't make any sense <laughs> okay <laughs> oh there's no way that's na when I came back and was working through the Stormblood main story, mentors in the novice network were talking about and spoiling the 4.3 trial. When I asked them to stop, I was told that anyone that cares about the story has already done it. I often invite Sprouts to the novice network, and now I'm concerned that I've sent them into hell. I definitely will be keeping a better eye on the novice network after seeing these replies. <laughs>
<laughs> They'll be fine. They're gonna be all right. 10% helpful, 90% random toxic conversations. It feels like the 14 equivalent of trade chat. I definitely feel like a lot of mentors let the crown get to their heads. That's why people started calling it the Burger King crown. It's because they were just trying to make it seem less cool than it is. The choice of a crown to be the mentor icon was very poor. It should have been a watering can because you're helping us sprout, right? Zodiac was once a peaceful server with a genuinely helpful novice network, but everything changed when a fake craft mentor named Charlie arrived. The balance of power was destroyed and novice network became a cesspool of toxic waste. But with the power of genuine mentors, we finally drove him out. Everything changed when the Charlie Nation attacked. Some people say it's been a godsend. So many helpful people, fellow new people to team up with. A great experience so far. Man, your mileage may vary. Holy crap. I opted not to use it. The one time I did try, some creeper asked me for feet pics, so I left. That sucks, and uh, I, I know, because I have had people ask me for feet pics as well. And, um, you know, I... Personally, I, I don't really mind uh, showing those pictures, so I, I think I'll just put my picture uh, right here on YouTube so people won't ask. I've never seen a more belligerent cesspool with a million different clicks that openly give new players wrong information in my life. Some mentors are grumpy and get mad if you have a different opinion from them. Well, I mean, I, I've been on the internet more than one day. I think, I think most of us can handle that. I haven't been part of it. I didn't know about it, and then I've watched enough videos to not want to. Oh yeah, you don't need Novice Network because you got my videos, right? It's my videos, right? Mostly nice, but there was one person in Phoenix who begged for help on almost every single main story dungeon because he didn't want to do them synced because it was too hard. <laughs> That's so sad. I know that mentors get a lot of crap and a lot of it is deserved, but you don't hear a lot about the people that are just very, very needy and clingy and uh, don't want to try at all. As a mentor, I go out of my way to be helpful and generous. I like taking care of sprouts. I like being a teacher, but apparently that's not the norm. I see a lot of unhelpful or needlessly rude mentors out there. I hope all my sprouts remember me. When I was in it, it got spammed with a person trying to marry other players. So I left it again. So this one person ruined it. It's probably Charlie. Fucking Charlie. Someone mentioned the erotic role play that's happening in Zodiac Novice Network. Maybe they are teaching the novice erotic role players. Honestly, a complete sh fest. The amount of arguing and self-centered ego boosting from the majority of mentors in there was unbearable. Really great in my experience, however, spoilers are common. My advice to people is that if you want to be helpful, help the Sprouts. You don't need mentor status or the novice network. It's a gimmick and rarely used for its intended purpose. That is the most based comment I've seen in a while. I went to novice network when I became a mentor. I was actually excited to help and then I got attacked by other mentors for being a tryhard. <sighs> yeah, it seems like there is this divide between people that want to use Namas Network for its intended purpose and people that want to use it as a general chat. Absolutely fantastic. I taught the mentors how to play the game. <laughs> I swear the only thing the Novice Network is used for is finding other people with similar kinks as you to ERP. <laughs> there was a Sprout who had a lot of questions about crafting and gathering. I did my best to explain everything I could, and he added me later, and then we started to hang out. I treated him like I'd treat anyone in my friends list. Formal, but friendly. He joined a free company and knew people there. The lad was growing up, and I was happy he found a place so he can hang out with other people. Later, he told me, I broke up with my girlfriend in real life, and now she wants me to leave her apartment, and I have only a week. And I was like, oh no, do you have a place to stay? Friends, family, and he said no. I did it for you. <laughs> I was hoping I'd stay with you, which gave me the <laughs> creeps. So I told him right away, I did not feel that way towards him at all. And he should call someone he knows if he wants a place to stay. He got mad and then told everyone in the novice network that I have been leading him on. And then the other Sprouts mentors in his FC started to say the same thing, <laughs> blaming me for his decision. That's why I left the whole server behind. I'm so sorry to laugh because it seems like you got a lot of sh 
crap for this from the FC. That's so crazy. <laughs> Did it for you. On mid guards armor, we have a sprout that's always making trouble, even making sexual advances at times, stirring the pot, and all the mentors can do is boot him out for 30 minutes. It's so disruptive. What? It doesn't look like GMs are even looking at reports. You can only boot them out for 30 minutes at a time. I almost feel like I shouldn't say that on YouTube because, um, but maybe it's better for me to draw attention to the problem. Maybe something will be done about it because if someone is like a huge, hugely disruptive, then you need a more long-term solution than that. Someone said that they needed a dungeon for Realm Reborn main story quest and they asked the novice network if anyone was willing to help. Three people came around and surely they helped me clear the dungeon. One of them friended me afterwards and I thought it was all chill, so I accepted the invite. But right the next day, they started following me to where I was progressing through the main story quest, asked if I needed any more help on anything, and then proceeded to ask if I could get out of the party so I could be part of their party. Needing the party chat to be able to talk to my friend, who was on the free trial till level 60, I asked why they wanted me to do that and they said so they could follow me around doing the main story quest. During the conversation while trying to think of what to say, they commented multiple times on how they really like the way my character looks. And when I said that I was a bit uncomfortable with them following me everywhere, they said, oh, don't worry. If that's the case, just invite me to your party and I'll watch you from afar. It won't be a problem. You won't notice. <laughs> I felt, <laughs> this was super creepy. I felt really uncomfortable. So I said, do as you will, but my friend isn't willing to invite you to the party. And then, teleported to my next main story quest location. They private messaged me and said that they weren't expecting to lose me so quickly. And at this point, I was asking my friend if I could somehow not show my location to them. Then later, they saw that I was in Ishgard and spoiled a really important part of the story, I think out of spite. I ended up banning the user with my friend's help, but to this day, this is the main reason I don't friend people, unless I know them. So creepy, it's super The part where they're like, don't worry. Just invite me to your party and I'll watch you from afar. You really should be able to hide your location on the map. I asked them to send me a picture of their character since this person was obsessed with the way their character looked. Every quest you take, every kill you make, I'll be watching you. I used it when I returned to the game the first time. And not trying to sound ungrateful, because I think they were trying to help, but I would log in and within seconds they would ask if I needed help. And then they would find me and just keep sending me messages even after I told them I was good or I hadn't decided on what I was going to do that day. Oh my god, that would drive me insane. Hey, were they also asking if they could watch you from afar? They got their binoculars out. I think you met the same mentor. One person said that when they were new, they were harassed in the novice network, so they left. And now as a mentor, there's one or two mentors who hang out there all day long and actively make the channel worse. Not with outright actionable harassment, but picking arguments with other people, always insisting their opinions are right, complaining when Sprouts bring up topics that they're tired of discussing, etc. So it sucks that the ego of one or two people can make such an otherwise helpful resource worse for an entire server. Yeah, it seems like just getting 1500 commendations doesn't really mean anything since anyone can get commendations from playing a tank or a healer in a dungeon and not even saying anything the whole time. It's not that hard. I mean, you just need to put in the time. You don't necessarily have to be kind and helpful to get commendations. So I feel like we need a different kind of reputation system to establish certain mentors is actually helpful. I don't even, I don't know what though. Maybe we, maybe we should do like Google reviews. Carried me through Eden Savage, but asked for feet pics afterwards. Four stars. <laughs> is Novice Network a mistake? Is this whole system a mistake or have you actually been one of the people to have good experiences? There was like a fair bit of people who said that on their server, the novice network is very good. It does seem to be very server dependent and maybe even time of day dependent, you know, it just depends on are the helpful people online right now. In general, after reading through this, I kind of feel like finding a helpful, good FC is much better because then you will be able to stay with them long after you lose your Sprout status. So again, I encourage people to check the community finder on Lodestone and try to find a good FC. That there does seem to be a general consensus among everybody who had good or bad experiences in the network that the mentor system needs a rework of some kind, that the requirements to become a mentor are too lax, 
or we need um, just some better way to show that someone is actually consistently helpful. I was memeing about the review system earlier, but now that I'm thinking about it a little more, I wonder if there could be a separate type of commendation that a mentor could only get from Sprouts who are in the novice network or in the mentor roulette, and they have to get a certain number of those to like reapply for their mentor cert certification. Like they would have to uh, keep the certification up and reapply every once in a while, every few months maybe, to remain a mentor, remain someone that can be active in the mentor chat. I'm not sure though. That's just a random idea I threw out there. Funds. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon or on Twitch. You can also support the channel for free by clicking the subscribe button or by sharing this video with your fellow warriors of light. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.